everybody welcome back to the unboxing toys channel we are super excited our propeller is spinning because today we're going to open some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vehicles super super excited about this first one of these we've gotten to open here on unboxing toys uh, this is a drop copter you can see here with pilot Raph or Raphael it's this guy right up here you watched uh, Ninja Turtles for he's the one with the red mask and this is from the Nickelodeon series um, half shell heroes is what they're calling it it's for ages three and up so it's uh, more for the younger folks out there um, and also just be very very careful there may be some small parts um, when you're opening this and it says it's two vehicles in one so it looks like there's like a helicopter kind of thing and then also it converts into this cool like a sled sort of thing so super excited haven't opened one of these yet bef uh, before so I just want to tear right into it but I can't because we have to look and see what's on the back so let's spin this around and see what this is all about maybe we'll learn something when we read the back of the box so it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles drop copter with pilot Raph coming out of their shells for the very first time the half shell heroes are ready for non-stop ninja adventure you can join the fun loving brothers in their pizza fueled missions as they team up to mess with menacing mutants and stop the shredder and the shredder is the bad guy in the series so here we are with our drop copter Raph in the pilot seat it says squeeze trigger prop spins oh boy that looks like a lot of fun I can't wait to give that a try I wonder if it will also chop my lettuce we'll, we'll maybe try that also they have some other vehicles out there a ripping rider with bike biker Donnie sewer cruiser with driver Mikey and patrol buggy with racer Leo and I think we've got this one as well we may open here in just a bit on the unboxing toys channel right up here showing us again two vehicles in one I'm gonna break this thing apart and see how it works <clears throat> and over here this awesome play set look at this a ton of stuff going on there's dog pound in there it's like Michelangelo April O'Neil there's it looks like a whole town and look, foot soldiers are swinging off the building. Vehicles running all over the place. What is this? Let's read down here at the bottom. It says, you can collect the entire world of half-shell heroes. So apparently there's a whole series of these toys out there. Oh boy. We're going to get to open a lot of these things, I think. And speaking of opening, how about we tear into this one? What do you say? I can't hear you. You have to post in the comments. At least three comments before I can hear you. Okay, so you want to start opening it? All right, well, let's do it. All right, as we're opening it, remember on Unboxing Toys, almost every single toy we open here, um, actually, once we get done opening it, we donate that toy to a young boy or a young girl who is sick and in the hospital. So not only do you get to enjoy all the fun of this toy but it's kind of like you get to play with someone else somewhere in the world and you get to share this experience with them so kind of, we're trying to be very careful with the box so I'm not just ripping it open all right and I think I got some, got some plastic we got to get through here when I was a kid I always hated tearing the plastic because you see what it does it messes up the picture and it always made me sad because I love looking at the pictures I love playing with the toy too but, but man I love I did not like ripping that paper they're ripping that paper so here's our pilot what was his name again Rath Raphael all right I think he's got boxing gloves on those are his hands or maybe he's got gloves on see he's he's a little articulated he can bend down he can look up he can do some jumping jacks he can do some toe touches that's his ninja exercises one two one two 
he can turn his head so you can see what's happening as he's flying and his legs he can move his legs as well the legs and arms they move together they don't move let's see he can move his arms in and out a little bit so you can see we can kind of do with the legs okay they do move independently that's pretty cool all right well that's pretty poseable for a little toy for a small toy like this lots of articulation all right let's set him aside and get this awesome vehicle out Get some scissors. I don't know. Yep, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get some scissors. Maybe I can untwist it. Nope, I can untwist it. These things are twisted on the back. Keep you from walking out of the store with them. Sorry about that. And look, we've got an attack of the mousers. There's mousers coming up to attack us. We got better jump in our chop in our copter right quick. Right, Raf. The mousers coming. Jump in your chopper. You can do it. Cowabunga! Whoa! Check it out, he's gonna fly over and see Spider-Man and Doc Ock. What's up guys? Don't get in a fight. Now that is pretty cool. Oh no, looks like Donnie's falling down over here. All right, so let's see, how does this thing come apart? That's the big question. Uh -huh. oh, it just pops right out. So there's a little latch right down here on the bottom. And that little latch fits right into that little hole. Let's see that hole there. There we go. So it just fits right in there. Super easy. Just lift it up. And so now you've got a super copter. But at the same time, you've got a super sled. You can ride on the snow or on the water, in the sewer. Pretty cool toy, I have to say. All right, well, tell us what you think of this drop copter with its pilot raft in our comments. Let us know what you thought of this video. Please subscribe and uh, please tell your friends. Share this video with others, share it with all your buddies, and let us know uh, what you think in the comments. We thank you for watching. Unboxing Toys. Stay tuned for yet another awesome Unboxing Toys video coming your way very soon. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to Unboxing Toys. And today we are going to get to open our Ninjas in Training. Leonardo and Donatello. There's Leo and Don Donnie and Ninjas in Training. And Leonardo and Donatello. On the packaging, of course, we have the turtles, Donatello, the adult version, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leo. And we get to check out in this package today the two figures of the Ninjas in Training, which are the younger versions of Donnie and Leo. And this, uh, this is the Nickelodeon series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, ages four and up. So be sure. If you have this toy, if you buy this toy, if someone buys this toy for you, 
and when you open it, it has small pieces in it. So just be very, very careful um, that all those small pieces don't get lost or get picked up by someone younger than four. And as you can kind of see, we've been having a lot of Ninja Turtle fun. Um, we have lots of Ninja Turtle goodies that we've already opened. And we even have some older Ninja Turtle goodies from way back in the day, when, like when I was a kid, you know, when dinosaurs made toys. And so there's one of them, an old, old Michelangelo there. Super cool. And there's his young, younger self, young Michelangelo. We just opened him. And there, peeking over the top, we have um, one of the Mousers. And there's young Raphael. And it looks like Lightning McQueen has come for a visit. He enjoys hanging out with the turtles as well. They're old, they're old buddies. And so lots and lots of fun that we're having today here on Unboxing Toys. And we're excited to open this particular uh, toy and show you what's inside and show you all the things about these particular guys. Uh, so the, if you don't know who the Ninja Turtles are, we'll read here off the packaging. Mutated from ooze and raised in the ways of ninjutsu by the Rat Sensei Splinter, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are ready to venture outside their sewer lair to fight evil everywhere. And as we said before, these are ninjas in training, Leonardo and Donatello, and they are mutated by mutagen ooze as baby turtles. These brothers transform and are no longer your average turtles. With great training every day from their sensei splinter, these young ninjas in training build their skills in ninjutsu and become a lean, green, fighting team that will soon be known as the Ninja Turtles. The weapons of Leonardo and Donatello are, of course, katanas and the bow staff, which is wielded by Donatello, and they're on the Ninja Turtle team. So you can also collect more Ninja turtle figures there's a ton of them out there and here is just a few we have Leonardo the adult version Donatello Raphael Michelangelo Leatherhead Metalhead April O'Neil reporter and friend of the turtles splinter their sensei and master the two guys we're about to open ninjas in training leonardo and donatello and the guys we just opened a few moments ago ninjas in training Raphael and michelangelo they're on a whole different video so you can check them out on our channel they'll be posted soon for every good hero you need a good villain or two so let's check out the villains over here on the other side. We've got Snakeweed, the Rat King, Krang, Cockroach Terminator, the Evil Shredder, Enemy of the Turtles, a Foot Soldier who works for Shredder, the Mousers, there's some all over the place, in just a moment you'll see them, Dog Pound. Baxter Stockman, the guy that created the Mousers, and Fishface. Pretty cool. So tons of things to play with. We've only opened just a few of these here on Unboxing Toys, so there's lots more to open. We're really excited about that. And I just noticed you can actually clip this out and collect it. They've got some little marks here where you can cut this thing out and you can keep this card. You can put it in your room or maybe hang it on your mirror or stick it on your notebook maybe in your locker very very cool that'd be a lot of fun i used to do that when i was a kid but right now i think it's time to open up this box and see what's inside what do you say uh, of course that's what you came here for right ah we love opening toys here on unboxing toys but even more than that we love donating the toys that we open that's right, every toy that we open here on Unboxing Toys, we, when we get done, we box it back up and we donate it to some boy or girl who's in the hospital, who's sick and not feeling well. So every time you watch a video here, you're helping a boy or a girl who's sick feel better. Pretty cool, huh? 
All right, in this package, we have a really cool fold-out poster that has a whole bunch of other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle things that you can collect, that you can check out, maybe that you can check off once you've gotten it. You can check put a check in these check boxes. Or maybe you can just, you know, show it to Grandma or your Uncle Sue or Aunt Patty or whoever and say, hey, I'd really like to have this uh, Ninja Practice Michelangelo here. It can be like a Christmas list. There's a ton of things on here. Remote control turtles. You can have Michelangelo flying around your next family picnic. And on the other side, you have some really cool weapons. You have saw foam weapons here. Leo's katana sword, Mikey's nunchucks, Raphael's size, Donnie's bow weapon, his bow staff with a blade on the end, not a real blade, just a soft foam blade. You also have all these cool masks. You can dress up like the turtles or the bad guys or Casey Jones. Super cool, a giant Ninja Turtle fist with a star blaster on it. Talk about imagination play you could really just you and your friends in the neighborhood can dress up like ninja turtles and you can have your own adventures and save the day as the ninja turtles and on the inside flip this over look collect them all look at all of these awesome ninja turtles stealth tech michelangelo battle shell battle shell Raphael. Stealth Tech Leonardo, Ooze Luncheon Leo, look at this, Ooze Tossing Roth, Leo the Knight, pretty cool, Donnie the Wizard, you can go back in medieval ages, Mikey the Elf, Raph the Barbarian, super cool, bad guys galore, throw in battle, these guys you can fold them up and they flip around and do ninja flips, these guys shoot things, shoot pizza, talking figures that actually talk to you. And then, of course, a ton of bad guys. Look at all those bad guys. Ooh, the spider bites. That's pretty cool. I've got to get some of those and open them up on here. I'm a big fan of the bad guys. I always liked the bad guys when I was a kid. All right. But today, we're not opening bad guys. Today, we're opening good guys. Oh, we lost somebody. Look at that. Leo, he's always the leader. See, he's ready. He jumped right out of the box. He's ready to perform. He's ready to help you out. And that's what he did for us today. All right, so we got Leo out. Let's get his katanas out. Because Leo can't fight without his katanas, of course. And of course, Donatello. He is the kind of a nerdy, super smart, techno inventor guy on the team. He fights with a bow staff. Let's check him out. I've been pretty impressed with the articulation, the way these guys bend. Their arms bend really well. You can see that they bend. They give you good range of motion. A little small toy, that's not bad. And both arms are that way. So you can really get some ninja moves and like, Wah! It's like watching a kung fu movie. If you watch a kung fu movie, post your favorite one in the comments below. It can be a cartoon with Ninja Turtles in it. That's, that counts as a kung fu movie. There's kung fu in it. There's karate. These guys spin around all the way around, so you could, you know, be kind of silly and make them spin all the way around. Their legs are not poseable, but they are flexible. There's a difference. So you can kind of give them some movement there with their legs moving around, but they're not going to be like the arms. They're not going to stay in that position. They're going to snap back. All these guys have little holes in their feet, though, and those allow them to plug into different vehicles or probably play sets. And their heads are pretty poseable. They spin around, and they got the soft plastic bandanas back here that hide their identities all of the weapons plug in to their hands so they can hold their weapons. So hey, what else do you need with a Ninja Turtle, right? His arms move, he can hold his weapon. Awesome. All right, let's check out Leo. He was ready to get out of the box. Let's see what he can do. He was ready to jump out of that box, wasn't he? Again, 
Lots of movement with the arms, same as Donatello. Some of them are a little stiff when they first come out, but once you kind of move them one time, then they really loosen up. They're ready to go then. It's kind of like when you're exercising, you got to warm up. Keep going. See how far he spins. Yep, he spins all the way around. So you can have like a whirling katana attack. I would always do things like that when I was a kid. Come up with crazy cool moves from my figures. Again. See, they spring right back. Holes in the feet, ready to be plugged in to your vehicle or play set. And um, posable head so you can look over there. Raph, what are you doing? Behave yourself. You're causing problems. Because, you know, Leo and Raph, they always can argue. They're brothers. Brothers argue sometimes. But as long as you apologize and you mean it, then everything's fine. All right, let's give Leo his katanas, his signature weapons. He's the leader of the group. Transformed from the norm by the nuclear goop. That was the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song when I was a kid. And there we have our ninjas in training, Leonardo and Donatello. Super cool figures. We're really happy to open them today. And just look at all their friends that we've got all the other friends, all the other Ninja Turtles that are around them. And some little boy or girl is going to get all of these. And that'll be super awesome. But I have a whole play set just because you watched this video. If you like this video and you like what we're doing here at Unboxing Toys, share it with your friends. Tell all your friends, send them the video, send it to Grandma, send it to Grandpa, send it to all your buddies at church or at school. Tell them to watch our videos, to like them, comment, and be sure and subscribe. Let us know what toys you want to see us open, and we'll see what we can do. Until next time, uh, thanks a lot from Unboxing Toys. Hey everybody, welcome back to Unboxing Toys. And today we are going to continue some trips down memory lane, at least for me, because I grew up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here we have a pack of uh, something that's kind of brand new that Nickelodeon, the Nickelodeon series has started up. And that is these little, little guys. These are like smaller versions of the turtles. I think they're young turtles. We'll find out more in just a moment. But they're called Ninjas in Training. So you can see that right there, Ninjas in Training. And this is Raphael and Michelangelo. Uh, there are two figures in here. On the packaging we have, of course, Donatello. Not one of these guys, but I think this is like the adult version of Donatello. And then, of course, Michelangelo. Here's his small counterpart, Raphael, and his small counterpart, and Leonardo. And then, obviously, these guys are for ages four and up. So you can see right up here on the top of the package. Be sure when you're opening uh, really small parts in here. So if you've got younger brothers and sisters or cousins or little kids around, be careful. Be considerate. Because um, those little parts can really mess people up. They can make people sick, choke them, things like that. All right, so let's see. Um, of course, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if you don't know, here's a little summary. Mutated from ooze and rays in the ways of ninjutsu by their rats inside. Splinter, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are ready to venture outside their sewer lair to fight evil everywhere. And these are ninjas in training, Raphael and Michelangelo. Mutated by the mutant, mutagen ooze as baby turtles, these brothers transform and, and are no longer your average turtles. With great training every day from their sensei splinter, these young ninjas in training build their skills in ninjutsu and become a lean green fighting team that will soon be known as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So here's Raphael with his weapon size and nunchucks. And then, I'm sorry, just the sigh. And then here is Michelangelo with his weapon, the nunchucks. So, team is the Ninja Turtles. More figures you can collect are over here. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo. These are the big ones, not the little ones. Splinter, April O'Neil, Metalhead, Leatherhead. And then Ninjas in Training, Leonardo and Donatello, which we'll open in just a moment. And then these guys right here, the ones we're opening, Raphael and Michelangelo, Ninjas in Training. 
and then bad guys over here on this side. But we gotta have bad guys if you're gonna have a good story. Snakeweed, the Rat King, Krang, Cockroach Terminator, Mousers, which we just opened. Check out a video on them, they'll be posted soon. Foot Soldier, Shredder, he's the bad guy. Let's get that so you can see him. He's the big bad guy. Dog Pound, Baxter Stockman, and Fish Face. All right, so apparently these guys are um, the versions of the Ninja Turtles when they're younger. So it's kind of a new take on things. I see kind of what Nickelodeon is doing. So it's the same guys as you know these over here, but it's just when they're a little bit younger. So that's neat. You can have cool new stories about the Ninja Turtles when they were growing up. I love it. So let's open them. What do you say? I mean, this is unboxing toys, right? So get that going. And of course, like everything on Unboxing Toys, we open them for you right here on the internet, on our channel, which we hope you subscribe to. But once we are done here, the fun doesn't end because we donate these toys to children in need. So if you like that, be sure and share our videos with your friends because the more videos you share, the more videos we make, the more kids get toys. See how that works? Pretty cool. All right, so here is a super cool uh, little booklet that comes in every package. And this shows you everything you want to know, everything you could possibly collect in the entire universe of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at that. Over a 40 foot tall sewer layer playset. I want one. Can I have one now, please? Zip line action from wall to wall so you can have your Ninja Turtles sliding all over the house, tripping the cat, capturing the dog. Look at here. Play sets. 11 inch tall figures. Wow. I need to go to the store. Man, it's a good thing I'm not a kid anymore. I have no money. All right. Action figures. Look at all those action figures. There's guys in here I've never even seen before. That is super cool. Talking power sound figures. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Throw in battle. These guys you can toss into the battle. Oh, you fold them up and they flip over. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Whoa, look at all the vehicles. It's time to be a kid again. So when I was a kid, you didn't have all these things. We had just a few of them. You might have had like the, the turtle, you know, the shell razor, the turtle. Uh, van that they drove around and that was like the only thing you had when I was a kid and So what I would do is I would build all these things Not just like this, but I would I would come up with my own ideas and I would build my Legos or Tinker Toys or Duplos or whatever I get my hands on sticks and rocks and I would build cool vehicles for My turtles or I'd let them ride around in G.I. Joe figure vehicles So you kids today y'all got awesome options y'all should be writing all kind of cool stories and coming up with neat ideas all the time of all the options you have. All right, speaking of options, let's see what kind of options are in this box. Check it out. Taking Raphael out first, because you know, he's my favorite. Gotta love Raph. He's stuck, he's stuck in there. He comes out and he's, look at that scowl. So he's like, I'm so angry. Someone stepped on my turtle foot. All right, so take these weapons out. Got his side. And then of course, the ever cheerful and joking Michelangelo. I'll check him out in a minute. Of course, he's smiling as usual. You can kind of knock that Roth on the head in the background. Got him on the head. All right, and nunchucks. Gotta have nunchucks to get Michelangelo. Those are his weapon of choice. And then we will get on to the main attraction. All right, let's check out Mikey first. All right, so first of all, oh, okay, cool. Got a little waist turning action. Looks kind of strange, but it's okay. At least you can turn him around so you can look at the foot sticking up behind him. The legs are not posable. 
However, they do have these little indentions here, so you can probably plug them into play sets or vehicles and make them stand up nice and neat. The arms are somewhat posable. You've got a little bit of range of motion there. And you can kind of turn them back and forth a little bit. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not shabby. And the heads are really nice and posable. The masks are not, although, of course, you know, in the back you have that soft plastic, so you can make it flow in the wind if you want or dramatic, dramatic poses. And got nunchucks. The nunchucks move a little bit. So there's Mike ready to go. Bring on the foot and the pizza. Calabonga, dude. All right. And a Raphael. Let's check him out. Okay. He is also. Whoa. He's super flexible. Look at that. You can see what's coming behind him him all the way around. I'm sure you could Mikey too. He was just a little stiff. Sometimes the plastic's stiff and they come off the, uh, the manufacturing, the production line. So their legs, you can kind of bend them a little bit, but they're not poseable. So it's just kind of soft plastic. So you can kind of you know, get a little bit of, yeah, if you want to. Um, again, you got the feet. So you can plug them in wherever you like. Arms. Working out. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's give him some weapons. We need some weapons. And of course. Right. He's got a frown on his face. But it's only because he doesn't like bad guys. Or the smell of Mikey's feet. That's the only problem. Alright, so there are our two. Ninjas in training, Raphael and Michelangelo, super cool little figures. We're very happy we got to open them for you today. And we're even more happy that we're going to get to donate them to someone who, some little boy or girl who's going to really enjoy them, I think. So, thanks for uh, watching this video. Be sure and comment below. Um, be sure and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos with others. Uh, spread the word about what we're doing here at Unboxing Toys. Uh, we're going to be putting up lots of videos in the next several uh, days and weeks. Uh, we've got lots of toys to open, so be sure and subscribe and check back with us soon. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to Unboxing Toys. And we are really super excited because this afternoon we're going to open the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are the new turtles that are on Nickelodeon right now. And these are going to be, we're going to open some mousers. Mousers, which are a scrappy and fierce robotic army. Woohoo! And as you can see, this is a bonus pack. Seven mousers in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven mousers. Excellent. The mousers are some of the bad guys. They're invented by Dr. Stockman. This is for ages four and up. So be very careful when you're opening your pack at home. You may have some small pieces. Don't let your younger siblings get a hold of that. And you can see here on the package, we've got Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and of course, Leonardo, the Ninja Turtles. All right, so we're gonna check out the back of the package and see what we can see. Mutated from ooze and raised in the ways of the ninjutsu by the Rat Sensei Splinter. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are ready to venture outside their sewer lair and fight evil everywhere. And speaking of evil, Mousers, which are in our package here. As I said earlier, Baxter Stockman is the creator of the Mobile Offensive Underground Search, Evacuation, and ret Retrieval Sentries called Mousers. These highly intelligent robots are programmed by Stockman to search for items around the city and steal what is valuable. So they're coming to your house. They're going to get your toys. They are trained to defend themselves by using their strong jaws to chew through anything. 
that comes in their way. The turtles have their hands full with these little fiends roaming the city. Weapons, razor sharp jaws. Team Baxter Stockman. And there are other figures you can collect. Here's all the turtles down here. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, the Master Splinter, their friend April, Metalhead, Leatherhead, Ninjas in Training, Leonardo and Donatello, and Ninjas in Training, Raphael and Michelangelo. We're going to open some of these in just a few minutes. And of course, for every good guy, you have to have a bad guy. So, Snakeweed, the Rat King, Krang, Cockroach Terminator, Shredder, Foot Soldier, Mousers, Dog Pound, Baxter Stockman, and Fish Face. I can't wait to get some of these guys to open them. Alright, and speaking of opening, this is unboxing toys after all. Let's get into it. Alright, so that wonderful sound, tearing paper. Remember, here on Unboxing Toys, we unbox the toys for you on video, but then we box them back up and we donate them to children in need. Check for some videos on that soon. Cool. I always used to love getting these when I was a kid. They show everything that you could ever want. These are like a ready-made Christmas list. Just hand this to mom and dad. Look at all that. Nunchucks, masks, ninja star blasters, training hands, punching bags, ninja weapons, remote controls. That's awesome. And then here's all the giant figures. 11 inches tall. I've got to find some of these. We need to open them. That is so and on the inside, collect them all. Here's your list. Your massive list of everything. Right there, collect them all. Every single Ninja Turtle toy on the planet. Oh, I'm going to have to put this on the wall and start checking them off as we collect them. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, speaking of fun, let's open them up. All right, so... Here, frozen in carbonite. Crystal clear carbonite are all the mousers. Got a little cool stand. You can stand that up in your room, decorate. I always used to do that when I was a kid. I would decorate my bookshelves with everything that I was collecting. I'd have all the toys. When I wasn't playing with them, I'd have them stood up organized. Cool. Check that guy out. That is pretty cool. It's poseable. Cool little poseable head. He can look all over the place. His legs move. some of his buddies out because we can't have just one mouser. We have to have many. Baxter Stockman has unleashed them all. Each one of them is pretty pretty posable. That's cool. So you could set them up in giant battle scenes. I like how these are actually it's like they're made out of different kinds of metal. They're all different colors. You've got black ones and you've got light gray ones. Pretty neat. And then you got these ones here that are just a little more, they're like a little darker gray. That's pretty cool. So when you get these, then you can create really neat scenes in your room. You can light them all up, set them all up, or you can have great big battles with your Ninja Turtle figures. Have epic stories where the mousers come chewing through the sewer walls and they capture the turtles and take them to Baxter Stockman's lab. So he's gonna do experiments on them. Can we do a running pose? I don't know. How's that? There you go. So, 
Very, very cool. A blast from my childhood at least. Made brand new for all of you out there. And we got to unbox them today and look at them. Seven Mousers. Super cool, scro scrappy robotic army for you. Check them out. Be careful when you open them and have a blast. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Like us, share us, and comment below. Let us know what toy you like best. Which color mouser do you like the best? Hey everybody, welcome back to Unboxing Toys. And we're having a big blowout today on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All these toys are kind of based on the Nickelodeon series that's on TV. And this is a play plaque, a play pack grab and go. It's all about the Ninja Turtles. And you can see here we've got Raphael, we've got Michelangelo with his swirling nunchucks. We've got, of course, Donatello with his bow staff and the leader, Leonardo, with his katanas. He's got both those katanas there. And of course, these are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I am excited to see what's inside of this play pack. So we're going to open it up and we're going to check out and see what's inside. So off goes the top and then there's a little thing here I have to get open. All the tension is building. All the Ninja Turtles are they're back there looking. They want to see what's in here. Some of the ones that we've just opened and some old ones. Alright, let's see what's in the play pack. Out first is something big. I don't know what it is. Whoa. It's a book to color. A coloring book. Play pack. Grab and go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle coloring book. Super cool. This is actually the back cover, but look at that. That's awesome. That makes me want to color right now. I mean, give me some crayons. I want to color a picture that looks like that. It's like a cool battle scene. This is the turtle team. Michelangelo, look at the swirling nunchucks. I wish I could do that with nunchucks. That would be pretty cool. And of course, Donatello down front with his bow staff. He looks fearsome. He looks ready for a fight. Leonardo, his brother and leader, backing him up with the katanas. And then over here, coming in for the sneak attack, maybe out of the sewer, maybe he came out of the sewer. Great, right over here in this manhole. There's Raphael sneaking up. All right, are you ready to see what's inside of this thing? I hear you. You are ready. Whoa. It's like it's upside down. That's great. I'm pretty impressed. The art is actually kind of reflective of the old, cartoon, old comic books. Black and white. It's pretty stylistic. This is epic. That's what that says right up there. And I agree. This is some awesome art. I want to color these pictures. This guy is Splinter. He's their sensei. He's a mutated rat. It says, it is not about winning and losing. Okay. It's kind of like you're on a little fortune cookie. All right, let's flip over some pages. Let's see what else we got in here. Take him down, says Leonardo. You know how I can tell it's Leonardo? He's got these two straps right here. Those, were, those hold his katanas. Anytime you see those two straps, it's Leonardo. So what color will you color his mask? Blue. You got it. Post in the comments. I can hear you when you post in the comments. But you have to post in the comments at least three times before I can hear you. And over here we got Leonardo. In a cool fighting stance. Happy to help, he says. Flip over. Let's see a couple more pages. Whoa. Stay sharp. Who is this guy? Post in the comments. Post again. Raphael, you got it. This is Raphael because he's got his size. See there? So you color that mask red. Shell ya later. Who's this guy? You got to post in the comments. Nope, nope. Two more times. You got it. Donatello. So what color is his mask? Purple. You got it. Good job. You know your turtles. All right. So. We've got a coloring book. We want to color those masks and those turtles. Oh, I hope there's crayons in here. Let's see. Ah, the sound of crinkly paper. 
We all love it. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. All right. Four crayons. Blue, green, yellow, and red. I think that will help us color some turtles. What do you think? So green, absolutely. We can definitely color the turtles with green. Check. That will be a big help. Red. Yep. Raphael's mask. Check. We can definitely do that. Blue. Check. Leonardo. Yellow. Well, look right there. Nunchucks are yellow. You can color that. You can color their shells here with yellow. And if you mix a little red and a little yellow together, you can get orange. So we got that. So it looks like we got all the colors we need except for purple. But you can just color real light with blue, and that's almost a purple. Mix a little red in there. What does that become? Purple. You got it. Good job. So I think we got all the colors we need. Pretty cool. All right. So let's see what else do we have in our play pack. This is the last thing. What is this? That's everything. That's everything. Except for this. Ninjas in training. What is this? Oh, cool. These are stickers. Now that is pretty cool. We got Krang in here. He's this little brain looking guy. Michelangelo. Leonardo, a foot soldier. Fish face. Nothing on that side. But you can always write your name on that side. See that? You can write your name with your new crayon. Whatever your name is. Post your name in the comments. Let us know who you are. We want to know. Alright, let's check out some of these cool stickers. Peel them right off. No problem. Look at that. Cool. You can take these stickers. You can decorate your room. You can decorate your notebook. Let's have a little fight here. You could even you could even invent a little game. Maybe it's a rainy day outside, and you could have a game kind of like checkers, except you could call it you know. Uh, shellers, right? So Ninja Turtle jumps over, <sighs> jumps over Splinter, you know? That'd be fun. You can invent that game with your brother, your sister, your cousin. Wouldn't that be fun? I said you can decorate your room, decorate your notebook, maybe give them as a present. What about that? Maybe you got a friend not feeling too good and you want to give him a gift. Maybe her a gift. And you can make a little picture with all these stickers. That'd be fun. Always think about others. All right. Well, that wraps it up for our super cool flat play pack. Set those stickers up there. Can you see those? Super cool play pack. Grab and go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tons of fun in here. Perfect for a rainy day. Perfect for a sunny day. Pick one of these up. Have a fun, have a blast with it. Be sure and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. Share our video with all your friends. Tell them about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles awesomeness that's happening here on the Unboxing Toys channel. And we will be looking forward to seeing you online and opening our next awesome toy for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Unboxing Toys and we are really excited uh, this afternoon to um, open this toy for you. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hero, Half Shell Hero from Nickelodeon Rippin' Rider with Biker Donnie. These are some really cool inventive little vehicles they have some neat features. One of them is that they um, actually are two vehicles in one. So this particular vehicle we're about to open, it'll actually 
um, transform, so to speak, into two vehicles, a little motorcycle and like a little sidecar bulldozer thing. So these are obviously um, Ninja Turtles. Um, they're the kind of the younger version of Ninja Turtles for younger kids, ages three and up. Um, so just be careful when you're opening them, make sure there are no small parts, or when you're giving them as gifts, uh, make sure you buy the appropriate gift for the appropriate age. And so uh, we are just super excited to have uh, one of these this afternoon to open. We opened one just recently. It's this uh, drop copter right up here. And it is super fun. And it's got raft, the copter raft the pilot guy in there. And it also splits into this little cool, this little uh, cool sled here. So these are really cool little toys. And of course, we just got them out here so you can see them as we open this one. So, before we open it, let's see what's on the back. Learn a little bit more about what this toy is all about. Again, Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Half Shell Heroes. I believe it's a series on Nickelodeon. And this is the Rippin' Rider with Biker Donnie. Coming out of their shells for the very first time, the Half Shell Heroes are ready for non-stop ninja adventure. You can join the fun-loving brothers in their pizza-fueled missions as they team up to mess with menacing mutants and stop the shredder. Two vehicles in one. Here's what we're going to be getting into in just a minute. It says here, press motor and the armor rams. So that's pretty cool. We can press that motor and we can ram into stuff. And knock down walls that mutants put up. Keep us out. There are other weapons. We've already talked about this drop copter. We just opened that on another video, so check our channel, Unboxing Toys, for that video. It is awesome. We had a ton of fun with that one. There's also a sewer cruiser with driver Mikey and a patrol buggy with racer Leo. And as soon as we can get our hands on these, you can believe we'll hopefully be opening them here on Unboxing Toys. Over here, you can see there's an entire world. Since you can collect the entire world of Half Show Heroes, and there's a lot going on in this picture. So, tons of other opportunities for toys for us to unbox. Maybe you've got some of these toys. Post in the comments. Let us know what you think about them. Let us know if you like them. Which one's your favorite? Which one of your, the Ninja Turtles is your favorite? Do you have this playset? I'd love to play in this playset. That looks like awesome. All right. Speaking of awesome, it's time to open this toy. So we're going to be really careful. We're going to try to be really careful with this toy as we open it because uh, here at Unboxing Toys, we do more than just unbox toys for you to watch. Um, we actually um, take the toys that we unbox for you on our channel and then we go and we donate those toys. We donate those toys to boys and girls who somewhere uh, in a hospital or um, somewhere are maybe not feeling well. And so we try to be real careful with the, the things as we unbox them. But sometimes you just gotta rip it open. You know how that goes. And speaking of ripping things open, here is Donatello who is the world famous for tearing things apart and making them into super awesome inventions. And you can see here, surprising amount of articulation for these toys. The legs move separately of one another, but also the whole figure kind of bends a fair amount. You got a lot of movement there. The head moves back and forth. A little stiff at first, but it loosens up. Their arms move. They can move together or separately and they actually move in and out. So you can kind of have, you know, them holding on to things or pretending like they're holding on to things, swinging from ropes, doing ninja moves. Okay, so lots of articulation in these cool toys. I really enjoy that. I like posing my figures and standing them up, and making cool poses and battle fight scenes with them. So we're gonna put him, uh, put him right there while we open his vehicle. Came out super easy, so that is awesome. Set this aside. And let's 
have Donnie go for a ride. So the hands hopefully hold on. Yes, they do. All right, that's always a sign of a well-made toy when they actually hold their accessories. And of course, we can get somebody from over here. They can ride alongside. This little guy is not necessarily made for this, but he works pretty well there. All right, let's check out our ramming action. Let's get a big Raphael over here. Let's see what we can do to him. All right. One, two, three. All right, take a ride, Raph. Get in. Ooh. Let's turn him around. Let's try it again. Ramming speed. Excellent. That's a pretty cool little feature there. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. All right, and then of course, move Donnie. These things are supposed to just pop apart, and it does. Super easy. Look at that. Got a little tab here, and then on the other side, you got a little hole. Little slot insert tab in the slot push easily just clicks right in well, that's pretty cool I like the design on this. this is like half of a sewer barrel or something that they've cut to make a little sidecar I like that it's a cool neat little detail point the wheels roll really nice a nice little toy it's pretty not heavy but it's got a good weight to it it's certainly not light Very, very cool stuff. And there you go. Very nice. We'll stand Raphael back over here. Make sure everything's going okay. Yeah, we got Lightning McQueen over here and little Raphael. We got the Ninja Turtles. And here's an old Raphael toy from when I was a kid. Play Doh, of course. Always fun to have around. Give your Ninja Turtles something to punch, to play in. And that is one of the Mousers. And of course, everybody's favorite hero, Spider-Man. He came by for a visit. And Doc Ock, his arch enemy. And of course, we got our copter up here. And of course, a couple more little Ninja Turtles down here. We've already we've already unboxed all these guys. We're just setting them up so you can see them. Had a whole lot of fun unboxing these, so be sure and check them out. But this is all about the Rippin' Rider with uh, Biker Donnie here. Very nice little toy. So let us know what you think about this toy, this unboxing video in the comments. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Share all of our videos with your friends. Um, almost everything you see here we've unboxed. Just a few things we have not. Uh, all the Ninja Turtle stuff except for this guy we unboxed and there will be videos on our uh, website. So be sure and check those out. Share them with your friends. Let us know what you think and uh, subscribe to our channel. We look forward to hearing you and look forward to unboxing more toys for you.